What's up, Raiders? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name is Steve, and today we're going to be destroying some value with some Pokemon figures. Because, uh, again, we're trying to expand the collection a little bit for this genre, because I always enjoyed the games a lot. like the anime, too, uh, for the most part, but usually uh, a lot of my Pokemon experience is mainly like the card games and the video games. And the anime, I got a little bit in, but kind of fell off after a certain point. Um, but we wanted to pick up some figures, so I've been trying to get stuff that sort of scales well, and seen a Gengar that looked like he did pretty well, and I always really like Gengar, I've always been kind of a fan of, like, the ghost-type Pokemon, so I decided to grab him. Uh, we also have the, I think it's, how you say, Mimikyu? Uh, comes with the, it's the Clip and Go figures with the Luxury Ball. And then we have the SH Figure Arts Charizard, <laughs> which, uh, was the big one that I ordered, because I ended up finding one for... Uh, pretty reasonable. Not retail, but reasonable nonetheless. Not eBay price. Uh, so decided to grab them because uh, kind of was sad that I missed out on these guys when they first came out, and just kind of wanted to start trying to find us a few of them. At least like the main ones from the, like the original starters. Um, the other two guys I could probably live without, but if I seen them, I'd probably grab them. Um, but still gotta get a Blastoise and a Venusaur at some point. But anyways, we're just gonna start getting into these. Uh, super excited about these, so we're, I'm gonna open these guys. I think these are Jazzware. If I'm not mistaken. Wherever the logo is. Oh, yep, right there. Alright, Jazzware. We're good. <laughs> uh, but... To my understanding, there's nothing too complicated about these guys. Um, the only thing that sucks about like the Jazzware Pokemon figures that I've seen is just like the scale is so wild with them. Because it's just like, I don't think Gengar should be as big as a Machamp. <laughs> um, but I think next to like a Figma and Figure Arts, I think this one will do uh, just fine. It's like the detailing, it's just plastic. Nothing too crazy. He does have a bunch of spikes in the back. You got the protrusions. His tongue should come out. Ew! Let me move the lid. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I can just have him on the shelf and just that. <laughs> I'm done with that. Uh, yeah, he's pretty sweet. I remember like in the original game, uh, like red, blue, and yellow. I always, I always made it like a point to grab a ghastly. Uh, so I can get a Haunter, and then I think you had to trade to make a Gengar, if I remember right. So I always had to like hunt down some kid on the buzz and be like, swap me, swap me back, swap me, swap me back. <laughs> oh, pretty cool. I like his eyes are, look like they're uh, not painted on I assume that's probably a decal. Teeth are pretty well painted. Like, I, I imagine it's hard to mess up a Gengar, you know? Uh, but again, like the scale, so decided to grab him. He's got a little gimmick, so that's always a win. Uh, this one, I don't know what I'm going to do with. I just kind of seen him. I was like, oh, he'll kind of scale pretty well. And I always thought he was a cool Pokemon. I don't, didn't really need the luxury ball, but at least I, you know, like, it's probably a little too big, but I think it'll be, like, good enough. And then the ball will be kind of cool to do. It just has, like, a display. If I ever actually wanted to cosplay as a Pokemon character, I guess I, I'd have a Pokeball. <gasps> you get is that a sticker? Oh no, okay. I was gonna say <laughs> that'd be kind of cool. Actually, to be fair, I might the I might the make use of that because that's actually all right. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna set that aside. That that seems useful uh, for Mr. Mimikyu. Nothing too crazy. It's got the squiggly eyes. Kind of looks like a child drew on his face, which I always thought was cool. He's got the little stars in the front. Which I, this is like his actual eyes. And he's got his arm. Got the little tail, because he's kind of like making himself look like he's a, uh, a Pikachu, if you will. <laughs> like the tops are, like, it's one of the, like, the Pokemon that, like, you could do this thing as sloppy as you want it, and it would still look fine. Uh, for the luxury ball, holy crap, does it have scuffs. That's a bummer. Because it's pretty much just shiny black plastic with some yellow, some gray for the lining. It's red and black. That sucks. I wish I would have seen that in the package. I maybe would have skipped out on this. Oh, okay. So this kind of works together. So that's cool. 
So, might have to try to shine up the ball a little bit. That Hopefully it's like surface and might be able to uh, buff that out a little bit. And then you can, uh, it doesn't really got any pegs, but you can just kind of hang out in here. I assume this closes, and then you can got to catch them all. Um, how do you pop it? You just push in? Oh god, he's stuck in there forever. I should have read the instructions. Oh, <laughs> figure it out. We're good. Alright, so, not too bad. But, anyways, for the, uh, the important figure here. We have Mr. Charizard. Still got my Exacto knife here from the live stream, so we're gonna use that. Slice that open. On a high note, when I bought this guy, it's factory sealed. Ah, oh, he comes with the planet. That's pretty cool. I think that's supposed to be like for a display. So you can have him look like he's, uh. Oh man, why can't I remember the move? It's right there. <laughs> I know it's like, it's like some kind of dive, but, ooh, it looks fancy. Oh, I like that, it's tail's translucent. That's pretty cool. Does it rotate? Nope, that's just glued on, but I guess it doesn't really need to, because you can just rotate it at the base. Yeah! All right, he's pretty cool. Sadly, unlike Mewtwo, he does not have the pulsable fingers, <laughs> which is a little sad. Uh, can't really get his wings to go that far back, but they, ooh, that's right, a little stiff, uh, but they are on a hinge. So you do get enough playability with him. He's got the segmented joints, which is good. Um, I kind of wish she had a little bit more going on with the body in terms of posability because there's nothing really here. So it's a lot of it's going to be like the head, the tail, legs, and arms are where you're going to get a lot of your play out of this guy. Um, won't be able to really like super. Stab it. Contort him. And then he also comes with a bunch of flame effects. And a giant stand. Which probably not using. I don't really plan on having him like flying or anything. I don't think he's just gonna primarily just be standing on the shelf because I uh, recently got a hold of an Ash, so he'll probably just be hanging out with him. But get some flame effects because this one I believe is for his mouth. Get him look like he's a. Uh, about to do the flamethrower. Just gotta figure out which way is which. Okay, it's definitely not that way. Oh yeah, there's a little spot for his teeth to slot into. How the hell? I must have that upside down because the teeth aren't lined. Yep, all right, figure that out. So yeah, it's like that. It's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, oh, the Rathalos from Monster Hunter. Kind of has the same uh, little gimmick. Uh, but this is definitely a lot more extravagant. Like, that was just like a little flame. He's kind of got quite a bit going on there. And then the rest of these are mainly just going to be um, for... You can put them on the wings. So you can have them... Um, kind of like he's flying in. Again, I can't quite remember what the move's called. You guys can let me know in the comment section below. Uh... Just the wings a bit. But you can have all the flames on your Charizard all the time. But I'll have to play around with that a little bit more. Kind of like so. <laughs> could do maybe a little bit better. If you guys would like to see a full review, I could probably make something happen. Because uh, we also got the Mewtwo as well that we're going to have to go through. Well, I don't know about doing Mewtwo. I think like Charizard is definitely the most popular one. I know with um, all the Pokemon card thing right now, he would, 
I get a decent amount of like accidental views while I don't think uh, Mewtwo quite falls into the same category. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. Like, it looks nice. It's a fairly clean figure. I'm not really noticing any like scuffing. Like his tummy maybe has a little bit of rub, rub right there. But once I have that, nothing too crazy. His head looks nice. It's got his tongue. Don't think that's pull. It is posable. So that's cool. Was it was I wasn't actually expecting that. I haven't really like seen a review of this guy. I just know he's there's the uh, D Arts version and the Figure Arts, which this one will be the uh, this one's the reissue. Uh, he's even got some detailing at the bottom of his foot. So yeah, not too shabby. Uh, wherever Gengar went, bam. All right, Gengar might be a little big. <laughs> To be fair, I thought Charizard was going to be a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, because Ash is probably going to be about the same size, so he's not going to really scale. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. Because he's about the same size as Mewtwo. And then... Wherever the luxury ball went. With Mimikyu. Yeah, overall, pretty sweet. Um, actually still pretty pleased with the Charizard. Uh, he was about 100 bucks. Uh for what I paid for them, and it's not too bad. Uh, these guys are about 10 bucks. Uh, if you find them like at Walmart or Target. Um, actually, uh, this guy, I found it a Cracker Barrel, <laughs> for the Gengar anyways. Uh, but pretty pleased, pleasantly pleased with these guys. Charizard still pretty sweet as well. But let me know in the comment section below if you guys are into Pokemon, if you guys have any of the figure arts, and wanna let me know how they are for you. I uh, definitely would like to hear about it and help us defeat the sky just by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. I've also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, I'd like to keep up with the day with channel. Donate, really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.